back in the day, a business owner could say, ah, yeah, I know this about my business. I know that about my business. I've been here long enough, been behind the table. I know how this thing works. Then data comes in. You're like, oh, well, I guess I can turn the brain off because that number's bad. That number's good. But there's something to be said about what's going on in here. And there's something to be said about what you see on the spreadsheet. If there was a way to bring them together, that'd be pretty helpful. That's right. Humanizing data. The CEO of Cloud Sufi joins us now from the Bay Area. Irfan Khan, great to have you on the show. Welcome. Well, thank you for having me and thank you for wearing the color of our company, Red. Oh. Uh, oh. Cloud Sufi, uh, as you said, it reduces the gap between human intuitions and data-driven decisions. So we kind of bridge it and are focused to eliminate this thing so you can really make some really good decisions in your life. Nice. Which which I love, you know, sometimes like, okay, so the way that we kind of make the sausage in radio, I work in radio as well, we'll get data on songs. And it's so easy to just say, oh, that data says it's good or bad, but you don't pay attention to what's going through your ears and say, this is actually a good song or not. It's the same thing. I mean, you right. want to make the data human. You don't want to be a slave to the numbers, right? Uh, totally. I mean, you want to listen to your music and sometimes it might sound crappy to everybody else and you like it. <laughs> And when you uh, like it, you enjoy it right now. So it doesn't really matter what the data says 100% of the time. Your intuition will tell you something and you've got to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Cloud Sufi is your second company, Irfan, um, and it has a very interesting origin. It's tied into your father, who was a poet. Uh, that's where part of the name comes from. Fascinating. Um, and, and you're really, you're trying to help businesses right now. There, there's a lot of folks. I mean, we know who faced enormous downturns during the pandemic, during 2020, um, but, but some have actually continued to grow this year. What are the key factors that you've seen in the ones that have kept growing? I think uh, if you look at a simple analogy is if somebody is blind, are they, are the senses becomes more. We became blind in a lot of ways during pandemic. We couldn't meet. There was no human interaction. Data became other senses, it became really successful. Companies which are aligned to data became super successful. And uh, uh, Cloud Sufi, we grew by 700% uh, in our year, wow. and we are happy. We're just wow. intensifying other senses. Which is helpful. I mean, obviously, data is mm. not going away anytime soon. I mean, it's pr pretty much everywhere we go, every swipe of the credit card, every time we open our phone, some sort of data is being transferred somewhere else. So, where do you see? Uh, what do you see on the horizon as far as the rise of data in our lives in 2021 and beyond? Everywhere you look at in your life now, data becomes your seventh sense. You look at hospitals, you look at your kids, you look at your parents, you look at what you buy, what, how do you interact. It becomes your seventh sense right now. So I can spend a whole day talking about, but I would say now data is as good as oxygen. Wow. It is the new oxygen for all of us. Wow, that is a bold statement. Um, of course, people can go to your website, Cloud Sufi, to learn more about what it is that you do. One of the things I'm very impressed with, Irfan, is that you have a passion to help older Americans. It's no secret that you know older Americans are at a disadvantage ta tax-wise. I mean, we're seeing that right now even, uh, I'm sorry, tech-wise, excuse me. Uh, we're seeing that right now even with the, the um, the uh, pandemic, you know, that people don't know how to sign up to get their vaccination, uh, but you're actually reaching out to help them. How are you doing that? Uh, people between 70 and 90 is my new kids on the block. We are bringing them back to workforce through artificial intelligence right now. Yeah. And it's going to be phenomenal. We're focusing on North America. Please keep uh, your eyes on the Cloud Sufi Foundation. We're launching it soon. And uh, the fun is to extract all the intuitions or leverage or enjoy all the experiences they have and back it with data and, and, and create a, a magic. So I'm super excited about this whole uh, uh, foundation for us. See, that's fantastic. Cause mm. you know what? I think that when it comes to advertisers, they don't advertise after a certain age. It's like, ah, they're set in their ways. And it's like, oh, I guess there's no more value in people after a certain age. And that's not the truth. There's a lot of intuition. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of knowledge. There's a lot of life experience that mm -hmm. frankly are, are, are really important. And, and uh, I love the fact that you're, uh, you're, you're reaching out and, 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 and making sure that that's tapped into. Uh, if we want to learn more about Cloud Sufi, where, where do we go? Can you say the question again, please? If we, if we want to learn more about Cloud Sufi, where can we go? Yeah, please go to cloudsufi.com. That's our website. Mm -hmm. And uh, watch out for social media, especially around new areas we're going to do right now. 
And just look around you. You'll see Cloud Sufi everywhere. Ada is Ooh, everywhere we see. Everywhere. Might be watching me right now. Irfan, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. And, uh, you know, stay dry up there in Northern Cal, okay? Uh, thank you very much. Pleasure having you. CloudSufi.com if you want to learn more. Executive Lifestyle, a proud sponsor of The Morning Black.